welcome to You News for this Thursday, October 3rd. I'm Andrea Linares. At least four people are now dead after a knife attack inside presidency in peril. President Trump inviting China to investigate his political rival Joe Biden an astonishing statement he made in front of cameras just this morning. This, as depositions began on Capitol Hill, many are asking, what did the vice president know about Ukraine? Lorraine Caceres has the very latest. A Republican from Ohio was the first one to react to Volcker's deposition. He criticized the House Intelligence Committee chair, Adam Schiff, saying Volcker's testimony does not advance Schiff's impeachment agenda. Meanwhile, Schiff reacted to the president's comment about China also investigating Biden, saying that his rant reinforces the urgency for impeachment. Andrea, back to you. Thank you, Lorraine, for that report. Meanwhile, President Trump's frustration continues to grow as Democrats amp up impeachment efforts, and his rage was on full display during a news conference Wednesday as Mr. Trump lashed out against the media and his political rivals. House Democrats say they are hoping to possibly impeach Trump by Thanksgiving. If they succeed, the Senate will then conduct a trial to determine if he will be removed from office. Legally, there is no time limit on this impeachment process. However, Congress knows that the clock is ticking. The current Congress sits until January of 2021. So any impeachment proceedings must and certainly will conclude by then. And of course, a presidential election looms in November of 2020. And one White House official says he will work with Congress on questions about Ukraine. Energy Secretary Administration News, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos' security detail coming at a high cost to taxpayers. That total Turning now to immigration. The Trump administration is moving forward with a plan to collect the DNA of migrants being held in custody. And that's according to an official with the Department of Homeland Security. But some immigrant groups are opposing this plan. Claudia Uceda has the details from Washington, D.C. That's right. The Department of Homeland Security announced plans that they will begin to collect data from DNA samples of immigrants that are arrested. This rule to be challenged and we'll stay tuned for any developments. Now back to you. Claudia, thanks so much for that. And now to growing concerns over the rising death toll from vaping. We're now hearing from the doctors who first sounded the alarms about this growing epidemic. Carolina Sarasa has the story. Next, we're learning new details about a World War II airplane day in Connecticut into a deadly plane crash that claimed the lives of at least seven people and left several others injured. That crash involving a World War II era vintage plane that then experienced an emergency after takeoff. Mike Interiano has the latest details. This particular B-17 bomber was built toward the end of World War II but never saw combat. This same plane was reportedly involved in a previous crash at an airport near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But during that incident, the plane was overshot the runway and rolled down during a, or rolled down a hill, injuring three people. The FAA said that accident was a result of a pilot error. Andrea, back to you. Mighty, thank you for that report. A federal judge in New York City has denied bail to R&B singer R. Kelly in his sex abuse case saying he's a flight risk and a potential threat to witnesses. Kelly remains in Dallas courtroom. Strong emotions surfaced after Amber Geiger, the former police officer convicted of murdering her neighbor, was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Outside, some protested what they felt was a light sentence. But that sentencing also led to a very powerful moment in the courtroom. The brother of Geiger's victim embracing her and saying he forgives her. Rafael Rodriguez has more. Another top story we're tracking. 11 people have died this year in the worst outbreak of a mosquito-borne illness the country has seen in decades. It's called Triple E, and scientists are now working to figure out why this disease is spreading and what we can all do about it. Azul Alvarez has more. The break, a wild police chase through the California desert that surrendered to authorities after stealing a highway patrol car and leading police on a wild and reckless chase through the desert. Jorge Hernandez has this incredible video. New Mexico, where a teenager impersonating a cop pulled someone over for what looked like a routine traffic stop, but he was the one who ended up in handcuffs. And as Meridi Morungi explains, 
All of this was caught on camera. Next, North Korea now disclosing new brave your daily tech round number to Annabel Sedano with today's tech report, starting with an FDA warning about cyber vulnerabilities in certain medical devices. Annabel. Hi there, that's right, and we begin with this, a warning from the FDA about cybersecurity vulnerability. Pretty obvious, doesn't it? I'm Annabel Sedano, and that was your daily dose of tech news. Back to you. And now to consumer news, most people are more than familiar with the fees imposed when you withdraw money from an ATM machine. But as Luis McKee reports, a national survey now says that banks are raising many of those fees. Time now to check in with Carolina Sarasa. She has a preview of what's coming up during the next hour of U News. Carol, take it away. Thank you, Andrea. More news coming up as the vaping crisis continues. One of the country's largest counties making a major move to keep its residents safe. We have all the details. And also we have incredible video of a robbery suspect in Georgia who was caught thanks to the help of the public. We tell you what police are now saying after that arrest. And our own Dr. Juan will join us to discuss the health stories of the day, including Bernie Sanders' heart emergency and the rise in the number of deaths because of a mosquito-borne virus. Andrea, now back to you. Thanks so much, Caro. We'll be waiting for you, so stay tuned, everyone. But for and now with what seems like a story straight out of Hollywood, a lady singing opera on a subway platform in Los Angeles, that video going viral. And now that singer has an offer for a record deal. Jessica Rodriguez has much more. We have it, a perfect example of how you can never give up because you never know when you're going to get discovered. Exactly, and she seems like she is more than ready to go out there and work and make a killing with that. It's going to be quite a, a production, I'm sure. Now, speaking of music, there is also some big controversy going on with the South Korean band, a group that's quite known. What's yes. going on with that? So, that's right, the band BT11. Yeah. So, just a few days away, and I'm sure we may be seeing some we'll protests see. out there. Most likely, we'll see. Due to this. So, what else is going on in Hollywood? So, Jim Carrey, go on sale, hit the shelves on May 2020. 2020. Yes. I'm not a big fan of his. Can you know? I, okay, well, I'm not a crazy fan. <laughs> is a huge fan so I'm definitely gonna buy a copy it's called fearless and sorry you were gonna say something I was gonna no 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 go ahead what's it okay. called I'm gonna make I'm gonna for sure buy a copy so I just wanted to say that it's national boyfriend day so okay. I'm gonna buy it for my boyfriend okay Today is national boyfriend like day, so well, let me know perhaps I'll give it a give it a shot in my book <laughs> all right so national boyfriend day you're gonna yes. do anything special for your I'm, I think I'm gonna make him dinner you know and oh, post oh, something on social media maybe <laughs> Not a good idea. So you guys can share your pictures with your boyfriend. Not husband day, boyfriend day. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for hour two.